icon i'm gonna click on the browse button we're gonna go to the desktop and as you can see we've got that we're gonna click on okay okay guys Atom, I'm back at it with another tutorial. Um, the last time you could see that my PC is not spiced, I watched a few tutorials and learned how to do something like this. Uh, anyway, I'll teach you guys today on how to make some so, how to turn your flash game into a exe file. So, yep, I'm using child version of the application to do this. I'll show you step by step. So let's go. I'll quickly show you how this would work. I don't know how. See, and when you hit it, you. So this is a custom made game. So yeah. Um. So the I've deleted the program so I can reinstall it. So first thing you want to open your. You want to go to this link. I'll leave it in the description below. You want to click on the free trial download. Uh. Wait, wait, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so about that. So when you click on the free trial download, just save it wherever you usually do. Okay, so there. Now you want to click on open. Yeah, you want to open it. It's only a free trial. We'll have that pop up every time. Don't worry. So this will be like uh, I don't know, like an 18 minute or something video. Um, yeah. So click on next. Create a desktop icon. You do. You can uninstall it if you want to. So don't want it yet and click on finish as you can see on our home page we have this so this is one of the only p things that you want to have on your desktop now i want to go to scratch and go to my stuff and find the game that you're going to confer so i think a good one would be this so turbs is you let me see my other game so that is killing you guys i don't know Oh my fingers, this is still working. Ah, this is not it. This is the fail version, so I'm gonna quickly go. Um, I'll just use Tervivius Magic Magicus. Um, so you want to copy this link. Now, uh, you sorry, you want to see inside your game. Click on the file button. You want to click on save now, and save it to your desktop. That's probably the best one. Click on the save now button. For some reason, it is not loading. So. Mm -hmm. I spent a few days on this. Because. Why isn't this working? Save. Save. Download to your computer, sorry guys. Okay, now you want to save to save it like that, as an SP2 file. Now I want to go to Doom Beetle, and then you want to um, make it automatically start, and click on that. Now open up um, the SP2 file, click on OK and click on Convert to. And now you want to put it the name of your thing. And instead of SP2, you can change it. But you, you want to change it to FWF. Okay, now click on OK. It should have saved now, like here. Now we want to open the base. Now click on Add Files. I'm going to add this. Click on OK. Open. Now you're gonna, um, you can choose anything, but this, the name has to be the type. You can make it a different name to Vivius Magicus. Okay, let's just, we're gonna make this custom window size 1280 by 720. 20. Um, so we're gonna click on that. We'll click on the convert key, click on the output order so ours will be on the desktop. Click on OK. Um, now click on convert. Uh, that finished as you can see. Look, um, we're gonna delete this. We probably won't need that. We can delete the SWF file and the SB2 file. Drag and drop this right there. Double click to run it. Now click on the yes button. It should show this since you're using the trial, but don't worry. Um, it won't run out or something, it'll just stay like that. Um, like, as you can see, we're gonna test it. If it works, okay, hello, item. Um, the first question is, uh, C, Hedwig, everybody knows that. Oh my goodness, you got it. Okay, anyway, that was a good thing to test, and if you exit, it shows that as well. Um, 
Okay, so now to make an icon. So if you have Photoshop, then open Photoshop. I will use Photoshop CS6 for this. Um, now click on the yes button and you want to make a new file. I just you can make your own type of um thing. So yeah, I'm just making it like this for now. Um, you want to open a you want to make a new file. Make it 256 by 256. Um, change the names. Make it. You can make it whatever. You're gonna click on okay. You made some. So now you want to. So this is what I'll do. I'll be. Um. So I'll just um speed this part up and show you what I've done. Actually, guys, I'll be back when I am done. Okay, guys, I am back from that quick break. So I just. I made this um, as you can see this is all that but when you're actually done you want to delete the black bit and yeah you have your file done and I want to click on the save button you can save it anyway I'm saving it on my desktop so it's easy access we're gonna make this a PNG file and we're gonna name this um, we're gonna change this to say um, TM logo now we're going to click on the save button, we're going to click on the smaller, um, and as you can see that compression was pretty fast, we're going to click on that, we're going to open this, and I leave a link to this as well, it's in my other bookmarks, and yep, yeah, create and convert, convert, I convert icons, so you want to use the online one, and so we're going to click to browse, we're going to browse up our logo, click on OK, now it's good. Convert TM to ICO. I'm gonna click on the download button to ICO. Um, we're gonna save it on our documents. Um, and now we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna actually drag and drop, or copy. So what we can do that is simple. So we're gonna shrink this down, drag and drop this to the home screen. As you can see, we have got that done. Now we're going to go to this one. We're going to click on the um, properties button. Now we're going to click on the. Um, oh, actually, now we're going to click on the cut button, and we're going to save it in our. Um, if you guys are okay with this, we're going to save it in our Windows C drive. We're going to click on the CCLD. We're going to click on the continue button. As you can see, that did it. Now you want to right click when you want to, to send to the PC, so desktop, create a new shortcut, uh, this should be it. Now you're going to click on the rename button to rename, change that to that. Okay. Now you're going to right click and then we're going to click on the properties button. Now we can change the icon, we're going to click on the browse button, we're going to go to the desktop and as you can see we've got that, we're going to click on OK, OK guys, apply. Bam! We just did everything. Just like that. Smack bang. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, yeah, as you can see, uh, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's run this. Whoop bang! I'm mean, whoop bang! There was no Favicon, but the, the game started. So, I'll quickly show you how my game works. So I'll quickly type in some name at b ab ab at b ab at b. Okay, how what is how you um see? Mm, oh my god. Uh oh oh. Also yellow dudes. The next question. Uh, that's a little bit different there. Hey boy. But I'll go. The last question is I'm gonna go with B. Yes, I made it. Okay, I should put the lawyer down for this one. You want not Okay, so I thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more like this or want some more tutorials, please remember to 
comment in the description. Um, I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Harold Hugh version. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.